Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. I have got some big announcements but first of all the championship is returning. It's what we've been waiting for. The Premier League came back and we were thinking when is the championship going to come back? It's here. Secondly, can't do match day vlogs anymore. What are we going to do? I've come up with a new thing. It is called Fan Moan. If you've ever seen Fan Zone on Sky, I used to love it. thought it was incredible. And I thought, what an opportunity to make a new series. Every single match day, Blues play. I'm going to get an opposition fan on and we're going to watch the game. We're going to react to it. That will be live on Twitch. So follow me on Twitch if you haven't already. Twitch.tv slash BruinJoeHD. And I'm going to cut up the highlights and put it on YouTube. Um, I think it's going to be a great thing to watch along with. So I hope you join me on that. I'm really excited for it. But we're going to be looking at the championship table, how it's going to change, how the break might have affected things. Going to be looking at the form of some teams. And we're going to look at that playoff race as well as who could go down. I think it's going to be very interesting. Only nine games remain. Before we start the video, I want to set a like target of 100 likes. Very simple, very easy. Let's see if we can do it. Would you like to see more championship content as the football is returning? Let me know as well. So I've taken a look at every single team. I've looked at their form across the last 10 games before the whole lockdown happened, before all the fixtures stopped. And it's taken me some time to decide what the table is going to look like at the end of the season. I think there's going to be some changes in the playoffs, possibly some changes at the top, and definitely some in the bottom three. I think the bottom three is going to be very interesting to look at. So in bottom place, I'm going for Barnsley. They've not had the best form. They are bottom and they're seven points off safety. I think there's just too much work for them to do. They will be relegated and I think they're going to finish bottom of the pack as well. Even though their form looks okay, 10 points from the last 10 games, I do think it's going to be difficult for them to get the points needed. In 23rd, I've actually gone for Charlton. I do think Luton are going to move up a little bit. Um, obviously, Lyle Taylor has said he won't be playing. That is a huge loss for Charlton and it's crazy because, you know, looking at the start they had to the season, it's just really petered down. Again, they've had a good, a good little run before the break as well. 10 points from their last 10 games, but I do think after this break after losing Lyle Taylor it's going to be very difficult for them to pick up points. Now this last relegation place was a really big one 22nd place I it took me a while to decide I kept changing it I kept moving back and forth with it I did for a little bit think Luton were going to sneak out of it but I've actually gone for Luton here. I think this is majorly off the fact that there is already a six point gap with only nine games to go there is a lot of ground to make up and even though teams just above just outside of that relegation zone are are playing terribly the likes of Hull City and so on I just don't think they're going to have enough unfortunately about them to, to to work their way out so that's my bottom three I've got Luton Charlton and Barnsley again I know there's probably going to be a lot of hate in the comments guys let me know what you do think uh, down there whether I'm right or wrong I mean I can guarantee these are going to be totally different to the, the end of the table but I just want to try and get my thoughts across and see if I'm anywhere near right. We all know uh, the terrible form that Hull have been in. Only two points from their last 10 games and I think a lot of people are predicting that they're going to go down. I think they're just going to scrape it. I mean if there was any team that needed a break it was Hull City. They were in free fall and do I think they're going to come out of it um, no, I think they're still going to play terribly. I think fortunately for Hull, there are enough teams there that are worse than them and that haven't got enough points as it stands. I mean, it's very tight for them. I think if Charlton had Lyle Taylor, it could be different. And that's what makes that whole saga very interesting for Charlton and Charlton's future. Lyle Taylor playing or not could be massive for them because that is the difference potentially between them staying up and going down. Again, let me know what you think of that down in the comments below. That's a whole different video in itself. He's 30 years old. He wants to move, but... I just think he's really doing them dirty there. I really do. Uh, next up in 20th, I've gone for Sheffield Wednesday. They are currently in 15th place, but I can see them dropping. They've only picked up six points from their last 10 games. That Again, they're in terrible form. Second bottom of the form table when you look at it before the break. Could the break do them well? Potentially, but I just don't think they're going to do it. I think if the fixture list was a bit kinder to them um, when they're coming back, maybe they could have picked up more points, but they've got a lot of tough games coming. Um, they are a team that's got quality. We know that, so it could go the complete opposite way for Sheffield, but I'm basing it off what I've seen before the break. As we say, this whole thing is about how the teams react to the break, whether it's a positive thing or a negative thing, and you 
you might say, for a lot of these teams that are in bad form before, this break has been welcome to them, and vice versa for the teams at the top that have been in good form. It's going to be really interesting to watch how these teams react and whether they can continue in the form that they were in before or change that, uh, whether they like it or not. In 19th, I've got Middlesbrough retaining their place there. I don't think they're going to go up. I don't think they're going to go any anywhere down. Um, I don't think the break's going to have done them a load of good. going to be better than nothing for them because they've had seven points from their last 10 games. Shocking form. They got a win before the lockdown, um, but... Yeah, I can't see them. I can't see them really moving. Now in 18th place, again, I've got Huddersfield to retain their place. They had some pretty good form before the break, but I don't see them flying up the table uh, just because of the other teams around them. In 17th place, I've put Wigan. And when you look at their last 10 games, they got 18 points from them. So this was probably a bit of an unwanted break from them. Do you think, you know, they're going to come back with that same veracity, the same firepower that they had? Maybe, maybe not. They weren't a team that scored a lot of goals, but they're a team that's hard to beat. We saw that. I think we lost to them twice this season. Really unexpected, but yeah, some really good form and unbeaten in six games before this all stopped. I think they've got a good enough run of games for them to climb up the table a little bit, but I limit that to 17. This is a break just to show you my dog. I cut his, I cut his hair. He was a big fluff ball. Uh, let me know what you think. In 16th place, I've got Reading. I think you all know my thoughts about Reading. Um, I could just see them coasting it out, maybe dropping a few uh, places down to 16th. Again, with these, it's not, not anything really about Reading. It's about the teams that had to shift up, um, which then sacrificed that place for Reading. Now, in 15th place, I've gone for my beloved Birmingham City. Looking at, you know, looking at our form, we've been a hard team to beat. We lost our last game against Reading 3-1, uh, typically, but that's because that was the only home game that I missed this season. So that's why Reading beat us. Other than that, we had a, a good unbeaten run before that. Picked up 15 points from 10 games. Uh, I think the key factor for us is whether Scott Hogan is going to be allowed to play. For us, I don't know how that works. I don't know how the loan system is going to work because surely, you know, I don't know if it ends on the day or ends at the end of the season. I think it could be up to the parent club. But please, please, let us have Scott Hogan. Please. You know, we have got some tough fixtures coming up as well. So I'm just trying to be realistic. You know, I think we can climb a place. I think we can do all right. But I don't see us pushing much further than that. Not this season anyway. In 14th place, I've got Stoke. They have got 17 points from their last 10 games. So they do have some good form, but I do think they've got some tough fixtures as well. But I can see them climb up the table a little bit. In 13th place, I've got Swansea. Winnable fixtures, you'd think, but some poor form, really, when you think about it. Again, it's whether the break will do them well or not. So I've got them in 13th place. I think this whole mid-table area is so hard to choose. And I've, I was I was umming and ahhing with a lot of these, and especially around the playoffs as well. So again, if you do want to let me know who you think's going to sneak in the playoffs, who's your outside shout, do let us know. So in 12th, again, I've got Derby to retain their position. I think everyone has got them to fly up the league. It was really hard because I did want I did want to do that. I did want to say, you know what, they're going to climb the league. They've got uh, Wayne Rooney in that, and they are playing well. Fourth in the form table. They're playing well with Rooney, but they have got some tough fixtures, and I don't think they're going to climb further. In 11th place, I've got Blackburn. Even though their form without Bradley Dak has been impressive, they've been scoring goals, they've been playing well, I do think they're going to drop a place. In at 10th, I've got QPR. I think they've got some good games, a good little run of fixtures, great set of players. Okay, 15 points from 10 games. I think they're going to climb to 10th, but I don't think they're going to challenge for the playoffs or anything. Uh, but it's after this. It's after this that it gets quite juicy. And here, it was just impossible. It was impossible. You know, I've seen you know, I've seen Thugden do it. I've seen him say Millwall are going to climb into the playoffs. I just realised I've completely missed out ninth place while I was editing. So, in ninth place, I've gone for Preston. Currently sat in sixth, but I think they've got some tough games coming up. And I can just feel them slipping out a little bit. Controversial, I know. But that's my opinion. So in 8th place, I've got Bristol City. I just think the teams above them are a little bit too strong. Their form's okay, but it's not playoff form. Again, the break could do them some good, but I just think I just don't see them getting into the playoffs for me. I think 8th place is where they're going to be. Who is going to go ahead of them? For me, Millwall. I have got Millwall in 7th place. I think they are just going to miss out on the playoffs. I've literally just changed my mind on this. I've just changed my mind on this. In seventh place, I've got Cardiff. I, I've i looked at the form. I've looked at the fixtures, right? Cardiff have got a, probably the best form out of everyone around there going into this. But again, there's been a long break. You, you've, you've got to look at the fixtures. The fixtures are massive when you look at this. And although I, like, I had Cardiff in sixth place, and I've had to drop them out because... And I know Thogden said it on his video as well. And I don't want to have the same prediction as someone else, sure. But I looked at it. 
I looked at the fixtures they've got. You know, like Fogden says, they've got a lot of home games. It's a difficult place to go to at times. And I think there's a good chance they can actually sneak in and get sixth place. So I've, I've changed it at the last hour. Well, the last second, literally the last second, I've just changed it. Because I'm looking at it and I'm thinking, you know what? I've put, I've put for Cardiff that their game against Preston is going to be huge. And they've got other, other tough games as well. And I'm thinking about it. A lot of it depends on those games where you're playing teams around you. Inevitably, some of them are going to end in draws and that. And I'm looking at Millwall and I'm thinking, they've got a lot of winnable games. If they're really up for this, I don't see why they can't get in the top six. When you look at it as well, the fact that they're form, you know, 13 points from their last 10 games and they are only two points off the playoffs. They've not even been in great form. If they've, if they've worked up tactically out of this break, they're looking at it, they're saying, all right, we're back from the break, let's go for it. I think the fixtures are favouring Millwall currently. So, so I'm changing it. Cardiff City 7th, Millwall 6th. I'm going for the same one. I have to agree. I just have to agree. Like, let me know if you do think they have an outside chance because that would be really interesting. And if Millwall are in the playoffs, as much as I like the other teams that are in the playoffs, I do think, like, I love an underdog and I'd love to see a team like Millwall playing in the Premier League. I'd love it. Uh, in fifth place, I have got Nottingham Forest. I think they're just going to do enough to stay in the top six. They've got the points um, and I think they're just going to see themselves through into the playoffs. Uh, I don't think there's going to be much of a problem for them, but I can't see them challenging the top two personally. Pretty much the same for Brentford. I've got them st staying fourth. You know, I, I think Forest and Brentford, it could be it could be either or with them, fourth or fifth. I don't think they really mind too much. I think they're set in the playoffs. I've got Brentford in fourth. I do think they're the better team. I don't think they're going to be challenging for the top two. You know, they've got Fulham above them, four points above them, who could have a chance. You never know. Can you imagine if, if Leeds or West Brom fall out of the top two? I mean, especially Leeds. Now for third place, who is it going to be? <sighs> it was really hard for me to decide. Ah, oh, I've literally, I keep going back and forth with this. Really hard for me to decide between Fulham and West Brom. Naturally, when you're doing a prediction, you don't want to predict the team to be in the same place as it currently is. And I was looking at Fulham and I just think, I just think, right... Listen, if they were closer on points, if there weren't six points between Fulham and West Brom, I would say Fulham. Now, if West Brom avoid defeat against Fulham when they play them, because that will be a huge game, then I think they're they're pretty much going to be okay. They're going to go up. Even if Fulham win that game, there's still three points. And I'm just thinking, you know, West Brom have had a lot of injury concerns that have been eased by the break. That has been very helpful to them. Been, I mean, I've seen some of their clips in training. They look unbelievable. Um, West Brom sit 5th in the form table with 17 points from 10 games while Fulham sit 2nd with 19. They're very similar in terms of the form going into this break and I just think the points that West Brom already have on Fulham mean that they will just be able to do enough but you never know and that's why we love the championship. So I've got Fulham in 3rd place, West Brom in 2nd place. And Leeds at the top. I mean, Leeds, they've got a seven-point cushion uh, from third place Fulham currently. And they can't bottle it. Surely. Surely they can't bottle it. Imagine if they do. It would only be Leeds, wouldn't it? It would only be Leeds. Um, so, wow. Uh, that was really tough. That was really tough to call. I'm not going to lie. I've, I've put a lot of effort into it. And I've tried to think a lot about, about this. Looking into the fixtures. Looking at who they've got available. And I'm going to be completely wrong. Uh, but I hope you've enjoyed the video anyway. I hope you're looking forward to Championship Football coming back. Remember to follow me on Twitch where we're going to be bringing back Fan Moan. I say bring you back. We're just starting it off. I can't wait to get it started, guys. Um, we're at like 620 followers on there. Get following on there. Let's get it to 1K before the season starts. And it will be amazing. Remember to like the video. Subscribe if you're new. Hit that notification bell. And I'll see you next time.